In the world of robotics, there is a quiet but powerful company that is slowly rising the ranks and gaining more and more attention. That company is Engine AI. Engine AI is a new, pioneering company dedicated to developing advanced humanoid robots and accelerating innovation in embodied intelligence. Now, this is a company that was founded only in October 2023 by Zhao Tongyang, and the company has rapidly established itself as a leader in the robotics industry. Now, in July of 2024, Engine AI launched its first bipedal robot, the SA01, followed by the full-size general-purpose humanoid robot, SE01, in October. And these robots have taken the world by storm. Now, these robots have essentially done something that no other robotics company was able to do. They've managed to achieve a human-like gait. One of the largest struggles for robotics was the ability to have robots that walk like humans. Oftentimes, many of the robots that we've seen, robots like the Tesla bot and others included, have had this problem. And the problem was due to the fact that walking like a human is incredibly, incredibly hard. The only company that had managed to perform this successfully was Boston Dynamics, and they are a company that is notably pretty much years ahead of many other humanoid robot companies. So this was one of the biggest challenges in the robotics humanoid space that many people hadn't even tried to attempt because it was notably so hard. So when this video came out right here, this was the one that took the world by storm. So this video that you're seeing was the video that they debuted on their YouTube channel and it really shook the world by storm in the sense that it was so good many individuals didn't even believe it was real. We got to see the demo of this robot walking exactly in the same motion that a human would. And we also got the robot to do a variety of other small tasks like doing press ups. Now, I think this was something that definitely showed people that the robotic space is moving ahead. But what really shocked people was that it was coming out of a smaller company from China. And it was so shocking that many people didn't even believe the robot was real. I remember when I made a video covering this breakthrough, this was something that even the commenters didn't really believe. Take a look at this comment on the video. It says, nice 3D model, now where's the actual robot? When you get to the point where you've managed to create a robot that even people who are seeing the robot for real the first time can't believe it's real, I definitely think that you've broken some kind of incredible barrier that is truly different. I mean, if you have your robot and it's so good, people are like, wait, this isn't even real. It definitely means that you're operating on the field where there's a lot of innovation occurring. And I think that's what Engine AI have successfully managed to do. Now, it wasn't just YouTube comments that were talking about this. There were Reddit comments where, where users were highlighting the doubts about the realism of the robot's movements. Some people couldn't believe it was real. Some people were stating that it was CGI. It was actually crazy because it got to the point where even individuals who are working in the space didn't actually believe it was real. So Dr. Jim Fan, NVIDIA senior research manager and co-founder of the Gear Lab and the leader of the project Groot, which is solving general robotics and physical AI at NVIDIA. This is a guy who's clearly very well accomplished. He didn't even believe the video was real. So take a look at what he tweeted. He said, Hey everyone, this was allegedly shot in Shenzhen. Is this real? Can someone verify? I've seen this company posting very natural humanoid walking gates a couple of months ago. However, these days, it's quite hard to tell CGI versus Sora versus the real. Now, this is the video that you are looking at in question. I do understand where you are coming from if you see this and you think it's completely CGI. Considering we've never seen a humanoid robot walk like this before, and it's just a company that managed to sort of spawn out of nowhere with no real, you know, publications before, but just an incredible demo out of the gate, it definitely is surprising. And for the longer video, you can see this one. This one is in a little bit more quality, but you can see that it doesn't look like CGI. If you really do pay attention to the details here, it looks like a really polished robot that has just managed to walk exactly how humans would. And I think that is what is causing this to be as uncanny as it is and why it's throwing a many, many individuals off, not just the average Redditor, but many accomplished individuals in the robotics field. 
and of course this demo you can see that many individuals in public are also filming the robot and to their surprise it's walking quite like a human would now of course we now know that this footage is real but nvidia's dr jim fan says i verified from reliable sources the new visual turing test this is a real robot demo the controller is a neural net that was trained in nvidia's isaac simulator using reinforcement learning and then sim to real reward engineering is all you need so you can see that he verified that this was real and that's of course when the wider community accepted that this robot was actually real and I think that this is something that is rather important because it goes to show you exactly how fast the space is moving. So next was, of course, another company that managed to come out of the woodwork. Like I said before, at this time, there was no other robot that was actually walking like this, which is why Engine AI were stealing the show until this robot came along. And that is, of course, the Unitary G1. So this robot was really interesting because it was the only one that was second after the Engine AI robot. And it actually did a multitude of things. It was able to run like a human and walk like a human was. And of course, able to do this over multiple different surfaces. It was able to do this on a variety of different terrains. And it basically went to show the progression that robotics had to offer. Now, I do know that this is an Engine AI video talking about their innovative jumps and leaps in robotics, but it just goes to show that when one company shows that it is possible to achieve something, other companies sort of realize that, look, if this is possible, then we can do it too. And they all start to invest in that same area. Now, with this video, there was a breakdown by Dr. Jim Fan, and he spoke about how to reverse engineer this demo. And I'm going to break this down for you guys in a very simple speak so that we don't lose track of what's important here. So there are three key things that he actually talks about. One of them being the fact that good robot design is usually built for simulation. So previously, engineers built robots and tried simulating them afterwards, often as an afterthought. But now simulation, which is where you have that virtual test environment, is so crucial that engineers design robots specifically to perform well in simulation. And if your robot doesn't perform well in simulation, it's nearly impossible to train it effectively using AI methods. Now. The second thing that they actually did here, and this was super interesting, was that they actually used human movement data. So motion capture. So robots become realistic by learning from actual human movements like walking or running. And these movements are usually captured for movies or video games using sensors placed on axes. And robots can use this data in three ways. So first, you can train the robot to copy the human movements first and then adapt those movements to match the robot's physical body. Then you can teach the robot to prefer human-like movements by giving penalties wherever it moves differently. Then, of course, you can use the human movement as guidelines to basically limit what the robot can learn, making sure it doesn't perform unrealistic actions. Now, with all of this, once you've, you know, you've got the design down, you've got the human movement data, you basically need to have the powerful simulation like NVIDIA's Isaac Sim and add random variations so the robot can learn robustness, train it using reinforcement learning, and then the algorithm that they used, I'm not going to get into it too much, but they use something called PPO. And basically, you just run many different simulations. The robot can adapt to many varied ones. And so overall, this is how they're able to get robots walking like this. And it's a clear breakthrough in terms of the software side because the hardware was done months and months ago. And we're only now seeing what is capable. So the crazy thing about all of this, whether it's the Unitary G1 or whether it is the Engine AI robot, is that a lot of these robots are still having upgrades. So one of the continued innovations that this company has managed to do was to be able to get the robot to perform a front flip. Now, you might be thinking that that is pretty normal, but this is a monumental milestone for the company and the humanoid robotics industry. So this maneuver is actually notably more challenging than a backflip due to the complexities involved in forward rotation. This requires precise balance, rapid weight shifting, and coordinated limb movements to ensure a controlled landing. And the successful execution of this front flip actually shows that this company is destined for more. And later on, I'm going to show you that they continue to do more advancements. Now, I'm guessing that the design, which is lightweight and it has high performance components, obviously enable the robot to do this. So this also goes to show that their hardware is also clearly very robust as it was able to do a front flip 
in a remarkably effective manner. So this goes to show your hardware is of course very important, but the software as well is most certainly going to be more, even probably more important because it allows you to do things that you probably didn't even know you could do. Now, of course, some people may, you know, say that this doesn't offer any immediate practical applications, but it does go to show the kinds of things that we can get these robots to do once they've been through certain simulations and once we've tested the actual physical limitations of the hardware so we can understand how far we can take them. Now, like I said, continued innovations are there. Recently, we got to see the Engine 01 robot actually outside running quite like a human would. And funnily enough, it actually ran right past a jogger in this specific demo. So once again, they have used reinforcement learning to be able to get this robot that was trained in simulation to be able to effectively have the right gait as a human would. And I'm pretty sure that this is probably more effective than other methods that we've seen humanoid robots run with. So I think this once again is another continued innovation because a lot of robots actually can't run that fast. And I remember the time, you know, a few years ago, which probably wasn't a few years ago, but I do remember watching a previous video of a Unitry H1 robot that was actually running in a way that was nowhere as nice as this. So this goes to show you guys, I mean, if we take a look forward for the next 10 years, the kinds of things robots are going to be able to do. And this is, of course, their first, well, second iteration of their robot, and they've already got it running like a human. So I do really do wonder where China is going to be in the next few years in terms of humanoid robots. And some may argue that they are on track to surpass the US. Now, with this humanoid robot running, there's actually this article where there's going to be a half marathon held in the capital, Daxing, in April, according to local authorities. So as you may know, China has actually ramped up efforts to develop AI and robotics to gain an edge in the tech rivalry with the United States, and of course, to combat the challenges of an aging society and a falling birth rate. And apparently there are going to be robots from more than 20 companies, according to the administrative body of Beijing Economic Technological Development Area or E-Town. So this is gonna be really, really incredible because for the first time, we're gonna see a bunch of different robots running. So additionally, we also had this right here. And this was something that I don't think it made headlines, but upon seeing this demo, I realized just how great this robot is in terms of its movement and flexibility. So this robot recently made some headlines with its performance, recreating the iconic Axe Gang from the dance 2004 film Kung Fu Hustle. Now, this demonstration, which was released on the 16th of March, 2025, showed the robot wielding two axes while dressed like an old schoolboy gangster, dancing alongside two professional dancers. And if you didn't tell me that this was a robot, I probably would have believed that A, this was CGI, or B, there was somebody in that suit. Now, this is actually an achievement because the PM01 executed complex, synchronized dance moves that require significant balance, coordination, and precision. And these are current capabilities that push the boundaries of current robotics technology even further. Now, once again, this was a video that people could not, for the life of them, believe that it was real. And this one's completely understandable because we have, you know, real humans side by side, and the robot is performing in a way that is super duper realistic, which is on par with the humans. Now, really interestingly, we actually got to see behind the scenes where they show us the movements that were being taught to the robot. So here you can see the human captured data where they are using a professional dancer to capture the data and then of course apply it to the robot. And even this behind the scenes thing, the robot just looks CGI. I mean, there's no other way to describe it because we've never seen a robot move like that which is why this robot is absolutely gaining so much steam. And I think hats off to this company for making things that are really, really incredible. Now, with this video immediately sparking skepticism online with other viewers like myself questioning whether the performance was sped up, CGI enhanced or AI generated, actually just shows us how far robotics has come to the point where people cannot distinguish between real robot capabilities and a digital fakery. But once again, this is the second full year of full steam ahead for humanoids and AI. And I am truly wondering what things will look like in the year 2030, the year 2040, 
because as you know, technology moves exceedingly quickly. So with that being said, if you all enjoyed this video, let me know what your favorite humanoids are and I'll see you guys in the next video.